Yahoo! Okay, okay. What? My goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Waiter, they scream already. Please, no. Please, don't. Don't scream waiter already. I'm tired. Please, let's just get back into things nice and easily. No! <laughs> right. It's like it's future me's problem. Last weekend, it's future me's problem to have the Van Dorn mission this weekend. This weekend, it's now me's problem. Oh, shoot. Hey, Lear, 69 months sub. Nice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff, for 111 months as well. Thank you for the Aardvark subscription, Jeff. Appreciate it a lot. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back to XCOM Kitchen, exclamation mark menu in chat if you're not familiar with the rule set we're doing for this campaign. Uh, basically, we're playing a XCOM training roulette dy plus dynamic war campaign, so half, half as long, well half as many missions uh, as a normal long war campaign is the idea, I've never played dynamic war before. Um, Exalt's off, the DLC missions are off. <laughs> New Quimbich donation from my clogs. Don't touch my clogs. This is so dramatic with the ellipses you put in. Thank you very much, my clogs, for the $15 donation. I appreciate it immensely as we get started today. Thank you very much for the $15. My clogs, of course, sending in a tip for free. But beyond the d dynamic war and the second wave and the training roulette plus, the big thing about this campaign is that you can buy more aliens during the missions. Uh, if you go exclamation mark menu in chat, You'll be able to read the menu for March. The menu's gonna change each month of the campaign is what I'm doing right now. So April, uh, you know, what comes after April, May, May? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> March, April, May, J June? Anyway, each each month the menu will change uh, it what is on offer and for what and what groups and specials. Um, but, you know, for now we're in March, we might get to April today or tomorrow. And I have the April menu ready to swap out when we get there. Uh, but basically the idea is you go on missions with me. Um, and there'll be a max limit of aliens you can add to a mission up the top next to Gordo's head. Uh, and if it's not maxed out, you can send in your donation with your message. Uh, according to what's on the menu, and you can order some more aliens in. Uh, now the limit I'm usually putting on these missions is I'm going for about double of what the normal mission would have. So if... The mission is a light abduction, and the wiki says it only has, you know, eight aliens on that or whatever. Uh, then it'll be, you can add up to eight more. Um, for today's council mission, the wiki doesn't really have hard and fast numbers on what council missions have. It says that March council missions only have seven aliens in three pods on the map, and then there's drop-ins. Um, which seems low for any Vandal mission I've ever done. So I don't know, I'm gonna put it at nine. I'm gonna put it at nine for this mission, you can add. Uh, and of course, if you read the menu, you'll tell everything. They come in at the other side of the map. Uh, or at the start of the next turn, all that good stuff. Crusader of Truth says, can I use channel points? You cannot use channel points, but fantastic hustle. Excellent question. No, you cannot. <laughs> this is Operation Make More Money for me, I'm afraid. So if you want to add more aliens, you want to screw me over, uh, buddy, it's USD. <laughs> but, I, but I love the question. Hey, can I use rat points? You cannot. He said very firmly, you absolutely cannot use rat points to fill the mission with more aliens. <laughs> Sad, but understandable. I'm glad you understand. Alright. Bounty says you cannot pay Monopoly money in your local restaurants. That's right. We inflated rat coin too much. It has no real world value. Um, but Beagle, you say my 86k rat coin points are worthless? I, I would never say that. Look, when I can use rat coin to pay my mortgage, I'll start accepting it. Yeah, save your channel points for Talisman, that's right. Alright, how many soldiers do I even have for this mission? We've been trying to, like, level up soldiers uh, for March. Um, what do we take it on this mission? I gotta remember what we have, soldiers-wise. Uh, none of you are coming. Make sure you get your, your exclamation mark raffle in right now if you want to potentially be one of the soldiers. Uh, that are going to get randomly drawn, because we might end up taking rookies on this mission. Might not. Like, well, we probably won't, actually, so this probably won't be a mission you get raffled on now that I think about it. But get it in for later. 
Uh, I won't reset the raffle today. I'll leave it, and I'll leave it until midday through tomorrow so that Europeans have a chance to get raffled. So you can raffle in all day, and even if you're not here, you'll get a chance to be in next time you come along. Okay, but seriously, who are we taking here? I got a specialist rocketeer. Like, who else? Who am I going to take? I need my best soldiers, so... Oh, yeah. I think we take the Kirukai. Absolutely, let's bring the best. So bring the Kirukai. Um, Goaf with Suppression, Fire Rocket, Packmaster, Mayhem, Heat Ammo, Paramedic, and Danger Zone. Gotta be careful that you don't accidentally blow up Van Doren's car of these. And then who else? Bring, bring the best we got. So that would also be Jesus Hen Solo, who is a uh, hit and run, right? Hit and run infantry. That's good stuff. Mm, opportunist? Oh, but it has to be bring him on, right? Surely it has to be bring him on. I think. Bonus damage on critical hits of additional bonuses up to 6 plus, plus 6. Surely it has to be bring him on, especially with an infantry. If you get like a crit perk at some point, it's going to be that classic infantry goodness. Overwatch is also really strong. But I know for a fact that there's like bundled Overwatch perks that are probably going to be better. Maybe not on your tree, but... Yeah, let's go bring him on. Who else is really powerful who I can bring? I'd like to bring a scout too if I could. Do I have any... Any of you ready? I'm going to have to... Roll... Fatigue roll someone here. Gravitas I think I'm going to have to bring. Or Wilco. Uh, let's go with Gravitas. Wait, what's your stats? Sammy says, Beagle, we did the first ever successful naval invasion of Foxhole, the new update. It was great. Oh, you did? Good for you. I hope it was fun. You have a good time? You will bring Gravitas. Eleanor says, Hello, Beagles. I hope today's missions go well for you. So do I. Thank you very much. I hope that too. Lance Corporal Slipper, what are your abilities? Oh, yeah, you have all the tanking power. Uh, probably Iron Skin, it has to be for you, I think. Everyone's getting the opportunity to get Savior, it seems, so hopefully we'll pick it up on some other people who don't want to be, like, frontline with other great choices like this. But yeah, I think we're going to take early Iron Skin, especially early on Iron Skin's going to be so powerful, so that's great. That's really, really great. Camilla says Lethal Company is amazing. I feel like I've looked at that game. What is it again? Lukey. What's that game about? It's like a Phasmophobia, we're good. Oh, 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 the one where you work for the company and go down. It's like horror DRG, right? Hor SCP DRG, right? Oh, I want to try that. I do want to try that. Can we only get six right now? We've got no officer training in school. Yeah, I've seen the trailer of it. It looks cool. I do want to try it out. Gunner, scout, sniper. So you are going to be a scout. It's weird to have a full team of no rookies. This is going to be the first time, I think. Camilla says, I played with friends today. Highly recommend to use in-game VoIP with voice activation. <laughs> uh, if I get it and try it, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. It seems like a good game for that, yeah. It seems, like, it seems like a good game for screaming. Do I want an assault? Council missions may not be the worst place for, a, for an assault. Less missions on the field, more drop-ins. Good to rush up and kill some freckers. Because we're going to have... Two gunners, maybe go light on no no LMG. Two saw gunners. Uh, you got your scout, shotgun scout, rifle infantry, second shotgun assault could work. Shift time could be shift. Yeah, it could be shift time, but I'm gonna take a, an assault I think instead. Someone says, "Come on, coach, I am backing down." I don't... I don't think I want you on this mission just because of your class, Soylent. You're a specialist support. Which is not what I need right now, I'm afraid. Even though it's the Van Dorn mission. I don't know if Grenadier is what I want. I think what I want is an assault. But let's rank everyone else up first. Saw. So. Oh, classes. I'm very classes in XCOM, it's true. What is that my basic loadout here?
Say the word to make Beagle random you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you. Hmm. How many supports do I have? Not that it's that important these days to get them. Uh, I only have. I have like three. Considering Grenadier can show up on the others, like it's 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 no big deal. I guess I could random roll you. What's your stats? 63. You are like built to be a, a grenade thrower though. I wouldn't want you to be a shooter with those stats. Like if you random roll sniper, that's terrible. Let's leave you as you is, Soylent. Let's leave you as you is, and let's take. I think we take an assault. But it would be a 13 mobility assault, which also sucks. Could just take 50 mobility Mitchell. Yeah, 3 HP assault too. Doesn't, doesn't seem good. I mean, low health aside. But you don't know if someone's going to roll an assault. That's a problem. Yeah, Brit definitely infantry. I agree. I could just bring more grenades. It's, uh, or I could bring another rocket here, even. Two rockets. <laughs> you got decent aim. I could bring a second rocket here. We could just rocket everything on the map. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we have t t two rocketeers. We have a lot of them. Bring a backup rocket. No scopes yet. Should I bring a shredder too? I don't know. But just bring a backup rocket and bring a med kit. And bring another backup rocket if you never med kit. Go if you never got the, the med kits right. No, okay. So we got the two med kits on them. Oh no, you do. You do bring some med kits because you're busted. I guess so the way the the medic perks get feel medic gets rolled in, you kind of don't want to take support medics too much. You kind of don't want that class because you can get it better rolled in on other classes potentially. Got APs and HEs. Yeah, it is a go for mission. More grenades. We have got a lot of AOE now with three rockets. But I guess you can't have too many. Maybe you bring like a smoke grenade on someone. Slippo, you can like bring a not a motion tracker. You're gonna be at the back. But I think we're kind of getting out of the point where like I want everyone to have spammed APs. It's not a rookie mission. So some more medkits is fine. And probably you bring the motion tracker and an AP or another HE perhaps. We'll go with AP. Okay, I think this looks okay. I think we're just gonna get out there and we're gonna see how okay it really is. Let's do it. Wait, hang on. Slippo's got iron skin, which makes Slippo tankier. Let's give Slippo a ceramic plate. Alright, now let's go. Touching down. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Okay. Uh, he always gets me. I always forget he has no briefings for council missions. Here we go. He doesn't once we get there, folks. <sighs> yeah. Okay, he also doesn't do them once we get here. <laughs> New objective received. New objective received. Meanwhile. Friendly's over here. It is the Van Dorn mission. Bradford just like just sidetracked. He, he knows you know what the mission is. Okay, hang on. So, 
Now I have to do the counter. So wait for mission to be gone. The alien counter is up and yeah, up, up to nine. Be careful not to overlap each other if you don't want to waste your waste your stuff. And I got to get my notes ready on the left. I haven't got a notepad still, so I'm still using my phone to take my orders. If there's even any orders today, perhaps there won't be any. It's all good. So. What are we doing here? There's like normal missions to play. There's normal activity. Uh, one set. Did I bring a tracker? I didn't bring a tracker in the end. Did I? No, I did on Scout. So Scout is immediately track. And I just gotta set something over my left. Everything by the numbers. Okay. Let's Copy that. put the scout over here. And then we're gonna continue on all the way up to friendly. There's a team there you go. Van Dorn, right? He ran up ahead to find one of our men who got caught in the blast when those freaks at the bridge. Look, we're in no shape to take those things out. Thank you so much. Go grab Van Dorn. New Dieci donation there. from Strack. Oh, it's not an order. It's just a donation. Time catching a streaming auto years and it's a door mission. Damn lucky. Huh. I was like, thank you so much for your custom order. No, it's just a donation. Thank you so much, Strakus, for your ten dollar donation. Really kind of you. First mission in eight years. That is going back a while. Was that 20, 2015? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Alright, so we can see that we've got... On the motion tracker, at least two there, maybe three. Probably moving to here activates them. You always gotta be a little bit careful with that. Maybe that you get away with this, but maybe you don't. Let's not... Make a mess out of it. We probably want Slippo up here in that corner, being the, the tankiest of tanks. Heading there now. Right there. I'm gonna bring Goaf here, ready to take the SUV's co co corner cover in a second. Jesus M. Solo. Hmm. Which one of you Rocketeers has a better aim? 76 and 69. So, Luki, come over here, and I'm going to get you ready to take that cover in a second. Just going to bum bum bum. Scout up for the beyond here. Okay, so I'm going to bring you here. You here. Ah, that's our turn. Probably gonna see Thimmin on this mission. You always do, of course. Let's see what they've done out there. So they've moved back a little bit, so I reckon you can probably get to here, no sweat now, uh, and be able to spot. Heading there now. I'm gonna come over here and what's that white? Is that Dorn himself? That has to be Dorn, right? So they're really far. If I count out, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So they're really far away, and I should be able to get like a full like setup even here, I reckon, without activating them now, which is really good for me, obviously. That's really good for me. That's what we want. We want to set up here in nice positions. I'm on the move. And wait for them to come back and then overwatch. And that's kind of like the typical way we want this to go down. It looks like we're gonna get to pull it off if we're not particularly unlucky here. We're gonna steady your rocket over here. Uh, ricochet. Where can we get you so you can do another one? Probably just put you here. Uh, Ham Solo, there isn't really a ton of room for you right there. I might even bring you up so that you can potentially, like, hit and run out. Overwatch of you. I've got my eyes on you Watch and you. Steady. You steady your rocket. Or just Overwatch of you too. I want to fire no rockets over here. Probably steady weapon. I want to fire no rockets over here that might hit Dorn's car. But I shouldn't be able to from here. Unless I really fuck up. So we'll just steady the rocket. You hear that? Hey! A drone. New trade donation from okay. our blind lizard. 
Whiter il Levan Floaty Boy, please. A drone for the friendly aliens. Okay, thank you for your order, Outline Lizard. We have the first. I gotta update the counter immediately. One drone. We can bring that in now. Thank you very much. I gotta make sure I do this right. Where's the edge of the map? Yeah, a nice little appetizer, that's right. A little drone. Drop drone. Boom. Thank you very much. Richard says, chat's being super tactical the orders this time. Well, we'll see. I might be able to just sit here and, like, wait it out. It can't kill Dorn until I pick him up. So, I'm for, for a minute, I'm, like, scared of that. But that should be fine. Ah, shit. Okay, that activates two. Maybe I want to break loss here. Maybe I want to suppress. No one else has a shot. So, I might want to break loss and let him come. It's not super likely I hit him on the Overwatch, though. I can just rock it and turn this into a no man's land. Turn it into the fourth of shit. Like, just do, like, a nice rocket there. Blow up all the cover. Get a free kill. And then any other aliens that come up, they're only going to be able to use this car for, like, two pieces of cover. I could also just wait. Like, you know, you are firing a rocket on one sectoid. If I break lost, there might be easier ways to deal with them. Or they might disappear and never come back, which would be fucking annoying. It's just kind of an awkward position because of where they are. They, I think I want to break loss so that the others can see. I'm going to back you off. I'm going to go... Overwatch. 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 I haven't got any low profile yet either, so like, there's just a limited amount of cover on this part of the map. Unfortunately. I'm going to hold it right here. You say donation from Crusader. Whiter il tre sectors, please. The drone seems lonely. Thank you very much, Crusader. Oh god. Uh. And that would have been a nice rocket if I'd stayed the rocketeer again. Thank you, Crusader, for the six dollar donation. Three sectoids, sure thing. Coming right up. We're definitely gonna be holding here for a while. I can tell Chad that much. Here, go to the side. Bump. I can add those right away from you. I can, I can expedite that out. Don't you worry. Where's the edge of the map again? Because we don't want to put it off the edge of the map, or it's not going to work. Then everyone's going to get mad. That's when the Better Business Bureau gets me. So we'll come to here. We'll go... Drop Sectoid. Drop Sectoid, just to be safe. Drop Sectoid. There you go. Thank you very much, Crusader. Ooh, Rush Order. Well, both these orders are coming right during the alien activities. It's like, alright. Start of the turn, no worries. How do you choose where they spawn? It's just where the, the, the cursor is. If you mean how do you choose, you don't. <laughs> it's always at the opposite end from XCOM LZ. Oh, I have Mayhem Suppression to deal with you guys too, I forgot. Sick. Let's just start Mayhem Suppressing you. And use as much ammo as it takes, let's just start doing that. Which means... Uh, no broken loss this turn. If I move to here, I want to get the other gunner back out now. So if I move to here... I'm gonna get spotted. I need to use the scout to run the overwatch. Heading out. Hello, hello. Very nice. The sword's gonna come over. We can go ahead and suppress the other one. Suppressing fire on fire. And then what else do I wanna do? With suppression, it should be fine to pop into half cover and shoot at them, I think. Just fine. No worries at all. I'm gonna steady one rocket, I think, and then shoot with the others. I might be able to just kill him here. Let's see. Him solo. Nice shooting. You're dead to Mayhem Suppression next turn, hopefully. That makes me want to just uh, rifle shoot the other one, I think. Very nice. Wow, wow, wow. We wow. Very nice. Get him out of here. No problem. 
Two down, buddy. Two down. Nice shooting. So we got four live. That order of three drone. I mean, three sectoids plus the drone. They should be flitting their way up here. I'm quite happy to sit here until they come up and get me, obviously. We got decent cover. Just get that overwatch going again. Then shoot them up as they come. I'm probably going to reload you. Reload. Reload. Reload everyone, I think. Drone is who I expect to see first. I reckon in the next two or three turrets, I see Sector scurrying up here too. I'm looking forward to seeing what perks people get after this, assuming everyone doesn't die. Hello, drone. Okay. Oh yeah, we got heat mayhem too, don't forget. Don't forget, we got heat mayhem too. Come here. Oh, that feels so good. And they're suppressed too. You just love to see it. Another successful dish. Here come, the, here come the sectoids. Up the ladder. This is a classic No Man's Land spot to overwatch. I'm feeling pretty good about the orders being ordered in early here. I think we're going to handle them, no sweat. This is going to be nice, simple dining. My beagle is evac camping again. I sure am. When the orders come in early, you're gonna you're gonna catch me at the LZ. That's where you're gonna see me. It's a nice spot because often the sectoids don't have an action when they come up here or uh, in these early on door missions, which is nice. Okay, you need to come back. So Ham, you come here. You've got double suppression, so come back here. Garfu says, actually I was thinking of that talk of hate mail, but I realize it's indistinguishable. Oh yeah, <laughs> you were trying to do the talk of hate mail. Maybe I should break loss again. I haven't got good suppression on both of them. I do just have shots though. Maybe just take some shots. Nice shots. I moved a uh, go to a position where they can't see, unfortunately. Very nice. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Just kill. Apparently, just kill. Zero Fs given. I might back you off. Roger that. Affirmative. Affirmative. Covering now. Affirmative. Covering now. Let him come. This is the last one. Oh dear. Oh, 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 thin man spotted. Yes! Thank you, Goth! Oh, I gotta install the. Hang on, that was weird. Also, I forgot I gotta install the gender swap mod. If I haven't got it already, so Goth can be a woman. Goth, Goth wants the gender swap. I have to assist in Goth's transition today or tomorrow. How dare I be late on that? I forgot that, I messed it up. What the hell was that? A thin man came up. On their own, died on Overwatch, and didn't activate a pod? I guess they were just a solo? Hang on, we've also got... Where'd that sector go? Right there. Is that cover? I think that's cover. Come here, Scout. Yep, 3%. Hello, hello. 74 is not bad, and even if I don't get it, Goaf can come up and get you too, right? Yeah, Goaf can see you from here. Okay, so we probably go for this. Nice little flank. They're falling back. And now, Goaf comes up. Mayhem. See it. 
It's messed up. Goph is just like running around. That's all active aliens did, I'm pretty sure. That's just Goph is just running around, just spraying this machine gun like it's Call of Duty. Goph's going wild. Okay, the team's doing pretty good. I was feeling really scared of this mission before I started today. Especially because I'm really tired today. Uh, I'm not feeling scared right now. I'm feeling pretty decent. Yeah, Gov's doing boomer shooter shit, I agree. People, did you know when you take classes on infantry, there are like other abilities? Like, like what people like in Mayhem Suppression in March? Yeah, <laughs> All those rockets you've totally used. Hang on, um, let's get a reload going. Reload turn for everyone. I'm probably gonna start advancing. Pop another motion tracker. Okay, so they're pretty close. They're like on on the Van Dorn car. I'm gonna advance and see if it doesn't activate them. You the ops team? Get over here! I am the ops team, but no, not yet. Aye, aye, commander. Come here. Not being LMGs means we can put the gunners out in the open, which is always nice. No active aliens means we can walk in the open again, which is lovely. I don't know what I want to do here because... Get down Ooh. here! All the fun. It's typically quite tough to like move up to this position and kill this many aliens this early on, I think, without like ending up in a bad position myself. I may want to hold everyone back here, run up with the scout, activate them, run back, and pull them back up the, the death spot. Because this spot is where you make your money on this map, absolutely. This is the, the farming spot. It's just not good cover for them. You get to overwatch them on the way up. It's pretty good. So we might end up going with that, I think. We might just, like, leave people in the good positions back here, go pull, uh, and then run back. That seems like the smartest thing to me. With that in mind, I'm going to come over to here. And what do I want my people with that in mind? Uh, probably, where is the gunner with iron skin, Slipper? Okay. Slipper, I want you to come to here in a half cover. I'm gonna put ham here. Brick back here. Lukey here. And go back here. Good to go. On Overwatch. Egan says Van Dorn is barely fighting back, bravely fighting back the aliens with a pistol and a single mag of ammunition. You have to save him now. No, he's fine. He's just chilling. Don't worry, he's fine. Nothing bad will happen, taking our time. He's fine, don't worry. He's really strong. Quiet. Did you hear something? There used to be a, a Rico, sorry, Rocco mod for Van Dorn. I didn't know that. Okay, one, two. They're just hanging out with Van Dorn. It's fine. That's a four activation. Two drones and two sectoids. I guess these early council missions do have a low number of aliens on the field at the start. I think that was two drones. I only see the one, but I'm pretty sure it was two. If I had the hidden run infantry, that'd be great. You coming down here or what? Yeah, that's right. The, the, the air, air conditioning is on as he's listening to his favorite music. That's right. My UN general is fine. Don't worry about him. Copy that. Oh, yeah. Actually, no one else can see them, but that's okay. I'm just going to run you back. Two sectors are over there, so I think it's fine to move out into half cover here because they won't see this drone. I mean, they won't see these soldiers yet. So we can take some more shots. We should be able to, without a problem. 
Moving to that location. That fire would be hot. I don't blame you for missing. Okay, I can't get any more shots out. That's alright. Just... Steady this one. Now, we probably take fire from the other drone, but I'd say we're still pretty under control right now. This is all under control. Oh, the drone doesn't even come up. We're fine. You the ops team? Get over here. Everything is under control. Give him one of these ones. Again. Roger that. It's free damage, kids. What are we gonna say? It's free damage. It's, that's called economics. Solid copy. We're green to go. We're green to go. Affirmative, covering now. If you can't do the math on mayhem suppression, I don't know what to tell you. Here comes one of the sectoids. Two. I swear there's another drone. I saw four on the tracker. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. Now, Slipo has danger zone, but I don't think they're close enough together. Also, so, not so but Goaf. Also, Goaf is out of ammo, so this is a good time to, like, break loss. This is a great time to break loss, I think. We can take one shot with him. Oh, it's so beautiful. We can take one shot with him, then back off. That's affirmative. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna do full back off. Okay. Let him wander up. I feel, Commander. And then next turn we'll spring out on him again. Back I feel, Commander. Little elastic defense. You coming down here or what? Don't, don't respond to him. Don't let him know we're here yet. It'll just make it more awkward. That one is in the open? No, that one's in cover. Okay. So, Ham, come back to the corner. Have a look again. Take a shot. Just see if you can just, just hit. Not today. We are committing to being lost now, of course. Okay, what? So maybe it wasn't two drones, maybe it was four sectoids and a drone? Was that drone the drone we never saw before or something? Anyway, okay, actually there's four sectoids. This is a great time to steady a rocket. This is literally a rocket would be good here. We're gonna want to pin them in place. If I can get Slipper to here. Or if I can get Slipper to somewhere I can suppress without getting Overwatch, that would be great. Or, uh, not, not slip over, um, freaking Goaf. Goaf, man. Goaf. Goaf of the danger zone. And it looks like Goaf should be able to get here. We're getting overwatched. Got it covered. Very nice. Now, I suppress you right there. I might even catch this one if I'm extra lucky. Oh, I can't suppress that one. Okay. Suppress this one, then. Does anyone else want to take a shot first? No, no one else really has good shots. Okay, yeah, so just suppress. Does one to both of them, suppresses those front two. We're gonna steady this rocket. And run you back over, I think. Run, run you back over to here. It's been a while since I get to play with rockets. We might, be to have, we might be about to have a good one here. There's gonna be a lot of mental shit coming in for you. But hopefully you're not gonna be dead. You should be fine. Affirmative. Covering now. All will be fine. All will be well. Feeling confident here in the kitchen. Never Overwatch. Never Overwatch. Never Overwatch. You the ops team? Get over here. Ricochet, are you ready? Don't accidentally shoot Van Dorn. You never would. You never would. But just in case, I'm gonna put it back here. Time the pulse. Do not talk to me about bepping. Oh, 
Oh god! That... Didn't hit Vandor's car, did it? No, the, the car hasn't exploded. That that was a really fucking bad rocket! He tried it! Like, even went downwards! Even went fucking downwards to try and get torn, what the fuck? Oh god, that actually wouldn't have been too far off. That was insanely inaccurate. But, we did get... You out of cover, so that's good. I guess. I'm fucking kind of reeling from that. It's terrifying. Um, we're gonna suppress again. Are we? I mean, I could fire this, but God. M maybe just... I'm sure this one won't be as bad, you know? Like, this one won't be as bad. Maybe you just you throw a grenade. You got grenades, right, Goaf? Yeah, we, we got grenades. You know, we just got grenades here now. How about that? Why don't we just do this? Ew! Going out. Oh. You were not apparently in view. That's fine, though, because... We have excellent moves for you. We're gonna come up. Hey, Starbright, how you doing? We're gonna come up to here. We're gonna get the hit and run. Okay, that's... I guess it's actually miss and run today. Let's take a shot with you. Very nice. Back to cover. And then we'll bring a uh, Slippo, maybe? I mean, you got the best will, you got the best chance of resisting mine bullshit. So we'll just bring Slippo to here. And Overwatch now, I think. Twenty-one percent to Luki. Nice. No, don't blow up, don't blow up. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. Okay, it's okay, the rocket didn't hit him, it's okay. I'm just really paranoid about that, but it's fine because now we're gonna mayhem you. Bring in the pain. I think we're clear on aliens again. I think we're like full clear on aliens now, maybe. Yeah. You come and we're all good now, we're all fine. Okay, let's start advancing to get Dorn. Moving out. That's like the first half of the mission done, which is very, very good. Solid copy. Nice and easy, honestly. There's like one... F it's weird. It's like weirdly easy. There's like one thin man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Five sectoid lovers, 69! Wants five sectoids! Of course they do! Okay, well, there we go. So actually, never mind. Alien counter is maxed out. Thank you very much. Sectoid lover 69. I can now put on my maxed out label. You all are maxed out. Thank you so much. At the start of next turn, five sectoids coming in. I'll be maxed out for the mission. This is a good thing because now if we just wait for the sectoids to come to me like the last ones, we can just play the whole mission from here basically. This is good for me. I actually thought y'all were like waiting really patiently to like ambush me once I got the VIP or like once I was stuck down here. But no, Sectoid Lover 69 is like, God, I love Sectoids. <laughs> God, I love Sectoids so much. I'm on the move. <laughs> Moving. Isn't Vandal invulnerable to like come fully purchase activates him? I don't know if he's invulnerable because I never tried blowing up his car, but I hope so. Heading out. Bro, just lost no not November. <laughs> Alright. Here they come. Get ready for a big surprise. It's five sectoids coming in right now. Thank you so much, Sectoid Lover69. I feel like I'm on the GSL of Tasteless Nortosis right now. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, five sectoids. The kitchen is closed. Thank you very much for this special Van Dorn Memorial Highway eat-in. Oh, 
Now we wait until the little sectoids come to us. And then we're good. I just gotta kill these five sectoids and worry about the drop-ins, right? Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. We feel slightly tense about that car exploding every time. That's basically uh basically it now, yeah. We're gonna stay this rocket. I don't know if I want a rocket again actually after the last one, but you know what? Bum, 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 bum. All the cover's gone too, so I'm curious like what they're actually gonna do for their moves. You coming down here or what? Probably just go up the ladder and die if I'm lucky. Oh. Right off the edge. <laughs> Do you think this is what Sectoid Lover wanted? Get over here. Do you think Sectoid Lover, like, planned this and wanted to watch five Sectoids walk up the ladder and die? Or was, like... Do you think Sectoid Lover, like, came into the chat and was just like, Damn, there ain't enough Sectoids on this fucking mission. BAM! Just hit the fucking button. Try to feed your gunners early. They're like a good support in League of Legends and Dota. They're handing the creeps up up bot lane right now. Actually, Sectoid Lover had no idea that they get camped out like this and is just screaming right now. Doing like the crying Wojak face on the other side of the screen. This is like a tragedy to them. The other four aren't coming up yet, but we know they Get will. We know they'll come. They're gonna come. They're thinking about it. They're like, the last one went up there, died instantly. Their body fell off the ledge. Get down here. Not fair if I have all the but you just gotta give them like five turns, and one of them's gonna be like, I'm different. That sector that died was a bit cringe, but I'm different. I can make it up the ladder. That's what we're waiting for here. We're waiting for the soup guy sectoid that's like, I'm different, I can make it through the overwatch. <laughs> you the ops team? Get over here. <laughs> Quiet. Did you hear something? Maybe they won't. That's the great thing about XCOM 1, you never know of the AI. You really never know of the AI. Like 90% of the time they'll do the what you generally expect. But it's never that precise of Mexican one's AI, and sometimes they'll just do random shit. They'll just be like, no, nope, we're not going up there ever. I might, you know, it's a waiting game. I might get five more turns to this and be like, alright, you know what, the sectors aren't coming. I might go down and get them. What the hell was that? You the ops team? Get over here. Yeah, the AI is extra random when you're fucking around with spawning pods. Yeah, see the outsiders that start patrolling. Not fair if I have all the fun. Uh, maybe they're not coming! Maybe that one sectoid just had a cavalier personality and the other four have all like rolled cautious. You coming down here or what? <laughs> yeah, Van, Van Dorn's like fist fighting the sectoids, I know. No, Van Dorn's down there trying to help them. Feels bad for them. He's like, no guys, don't go up there, seriously. Get over here. It's like Call of Duty, one of the sectoids runs up immediately gets blasted. Van Dorn pulls the other one off like the fucking landing craft ramp. No, get down! It's just his instinct. He's just trying to protect his boys. His boys and girls down there. Don't go up there! It's a slaughter! You're going right into their gunfire! Van Dorn is like the ultimate himbo. He kind of forgets they're on other sides. Just starts like drawing them a football plan down there for what they need to do. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the- I don't think they're coming. I think we have to go down there. We do. Down here or what? They're they're smart. All right, we're coming down there. Right, we're moving up. Tracking. They've outweighed me. What was that sound? You the ops team? Get over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's hard to get on up. 
Okay, okay, we can go from here to here. Okay. Bring the infantry as well for potential hit and run antics. Yeah, it turns out I made a lot of fun of Sector Lover 69, but maybe they knew what they were up to. I agree, Brent Shaw, you might be right. They're actually very familiar with Sector AI, and we're like, okay, you gotta buy five, because the fifth one's the sacrifice, and the other four will go smart afterwards. We do one of those YouTube thumbnails, it's like, did, did they know? Heading out. Camilla says, we haven't even held this position for 50 turns. How can you say they aren't going to come up the ladder? I've gone soft in my old age, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. You haven't missed any more perks today, G Rainbow. This is the first mission, so we're going to hopefully get to see some after this mission. You coming down here or what? I'm on the move. Na -na -na -na. Ghost's coming. How would you guys play this map if you were the sectoids and this was Call of Duty for sectoids? You the ops team? Get over here. What would your play be? Also, isn't it great how quickly 40 turns go when you're just overwatching? Oh, it's fantastic. We love it, of course. Camilla says hide directly behind Van Dorn's car. <laughs> You fucker! Alright, Rick, come here. We're just trying to like move up, move up. You know, you know. Good to go. Where the frick are they actually? I'm starting to get like starting to get weirded out. Where are they? Am I getting like baited? Baited and smart brained? Hey, You don't think I fucked up the spawn, do you? What was that? No, maybe they're just holding the high ground. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. You can't up down here, right? No, you can't. We can come over to here. Climb on the underside of the bridge like in Half-Life 2 the flank XCOM. <laughs> Tell me to speak of this game fucking rules. Yeah, I want to try it sometime. It's, it seems like it's going to be really fun. I do want to try it sometime. Lethal Company. I do want to try that sometime. It, it seems like it's going to be a good time. Okay, I, I think we're just going to keep moving up. Moving to position. Moving to I might have to push uphill on these fucking aliens. What? Feet steps. Coming down here or what? What is their plan? I'm going down there, I guess. I'm gonna go find out. Heading to that location. I've got a visual. Wait, isn't Vendor meant to be on the other side of the car? No, he's always on that side. That's that's correct. Okay, I see one of them. They're they're just scared, I think. I think they're scared as fuck. If I had the infantry closer, I could blast them right now. But they're not quite close enough. Can you get back up? Yeah, you can. Okay, come back up. Moving out. Yeah, they're camping the higher. That's what it looks like to me, yeah. We're gonna start doing hit and run shenanigans with the scout to get through this, I think. Worst case, we can do precision rockets, of course. But that is the worst case here, I think. I'm antsy about using them around Dorn. Yeah, this is a roulette. That's right, Shadow. Yeah, 
You the ops team? Get over here. All right, come look again. This time I'm ready to hit and run you. Will do. Dorn, just chill out there. That means Dorn's even closer to getting splattered by a rocket. That's terrible. Okay, they're gone now. This fucker. These fucking A's. I could just hunker here, I guess. I blew up all the cover I'd want to use here, unfortunately. These fucking sectoids. I might just have to make like a full-on assault using smoke. That might be, I think, the big brain play here. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of back and forth. Affirmativo. Let's go. Let's make a big old assault. Let's do this. The low ground on this map is hell. It is hell. It's better not to be in it, honestly. Oh, shit. I see one. Oh, shit. Confirm la position. Oh, shit. Moving. We're going smoke. We're going to steady a rocket. Scanning. They're going to run off. They're scared. They're scared up there, I think. Whoa. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. Okay, I could just blast you with a rocket, but it doesn't seem like the best thing to do here. Best thing is probably some more mayhem suppression and shooting while we're in the smoke, or assaulting them up the hill. That is full cover. I mean, I could just try to run him. I could just grab him and run. But... That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm probably gonna have to, like... Can I get close enough for a grenade? Or like move you to full cover? I have a rocket from you too. I want to know where the others are before I, I throw it out there though. Maybe we do just like sling one of these ones over but it's very unlikely to hit. No! No, Nikki, no! Nikki donation from Nikki. <laughs> no! Whiter. <laughs> Get me a plate of fell drone su France. What do you mean the kitchen is closed? Uno demand to speak to a... <laughs> what do you mean? Thank you for the $15. Totally not a tip. Thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. I guess I'm just gonna man suppress you. Come on. Come Thank you for the $15. Appreciate it. It's gonna take five turns. It's not gonna be very quick enough. I'm gonna steady your rocket next, I think. And take some shots at the infantry. Yeah, Blanco fire. Right? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move you up to here. Steady a rocket to kill you next turn. I'm gonna move up Luki. To here, with your rocket. I think I'd like to move Gravitas up. To here. I wanna bring Slippo. Oh, I do not wanna run near Van Dorn. I wanna start bringing Slippo over to that position. Hopefully one more of them comes over here and groups up. Got a lot of heat on me. Nope. You coming down here or what? I think we just like rocket blast you. Just give him one of these ones. 
Oh no, you're not steadied. Though, if they're just gonna keep shooting back down, I can just keep mayheming them and taking shots. Okay, we don't have to blow the rocket. I've taken all these rocketeers, but I'm like not firing many rockets. To be fair, did you see the last one? But... Oh, smoke is gone now, though. I don't want to keep, like, hanging out here. So maybe just rocket and get it over with. You've got plenty more. Honestly, you've got plenty more. Fur! Carl Gustav, a single sectoid. I'll do it. The others must be, like, hella backed up up there. I don't know if this car can explode again, but they must be, like, just hiding in the back. As sectoids do sometimes like to do. Affirmative. Well, keep advancing. Maybe, uh, come to here, I guess. No smokes, you gotta be careful now, you gotta hunker at least. Probably getting a hit and runner up on the side, or starting to get a hit and runner up on the side would be really good. You are gonna come down. You gotta be really careful of the high ground bonuses against us here. It's just hunkers, hunkers, hunkers all around so we get control of the situation. They're back there, man. They're hiding right in the back. You the ops team? Get over here! Yeah, they're, they're hiding back here in the back cover. You got one. Where is that? You got one in like the corner cover here. And one, they're so fucking scared. Right there in the truck. So if we reload the hit and run infantry and just start bringing them up and we, with the scout, we should be able to do some good stuff here. I'm all over it. Go if move up to here, Rick to here. We're gonna get a reload in for Ham Solo here. Heading to that location. Hunker everyone in half cover. On Overwatch. Oh god, and just wait until we move up the um what the fuck just blew up the white car. At least we move up to hear the infantry. Yeah, the menu's gonna get updated each month, Pathfinder is the plan right now. come to here. I'm gonna come make sure that you don't get shot on the way. Should be good. Still, this is gonna be awkward to try and pull off. Let's bring uh, Goth up to here so you're ready for another grenade or two or three or four. Here we go. Overwatch now. Steady. Hunker. Overwatch. Hopefully we can go up the ramp now. I don't think I'll have the movement, but we're gonna see what we can do. Might just have to dash up to that car, I think. Hello, hello! They should not be able to move here and flank me, I don't think, but maybe one, maybe maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They might be able to just move to here and flank me if I run up to this position. It's a little worrying. <sighs> Whatever, what choices do I have? Can I throw grenades that far? I can kind of throw grenades that far. Where's the mine merger over here? That's the one I want to grenade. Assault, assault, assault. Yeah, running gunner would have been good here. That's why I wanted an assault. I 
think they're just next to each other here. You got like one one in cover there. And you got like the mine merger themselves. Where are they? Like literally right here. Can I just get a random rocket up there? Yes, potentially. Could work. Just fire a random rocket up there, see what happens. Okay, like right there. Going hot. Beep beep. <laughs> oh my god, they're alive. Maybe that one was being mind merged. My goodness, they're alive. Unexpected. Roger, tracking. Okay, hello. I'm gonna go for it. One, two, there. I wanna get a grenade onto the there. Don't know if I can. I don't think they'll be able to make it from there to flank me here. But I also don't want to move to there because that's in loss. So I'm probably just going to try and chuck grenades. Oh yeah, that one's my merging this one now. I can't tell which way it's going. Just chuck this. A little bit of damage. Chuck this. Ooh. Give us an HE. Hop! Going out. That's one. There's only two left. It's just those two there now left. It's all good. I can even bring you up too. Next one I should have him blasted. Moving out. On watch. It's fine, it's fine, they don't have actions. Oh they have actions! That was close. That was almost a flank, it's okay. We got a slipper cover in that corner, dead! the last one and sectoid lovers sectoid surprise Get over here. it's gonna be done Brax says big do you know when you find an occupied tile when you tile scan you can the left click on that tile and the game will basically treat that as if you press the fire command on the soldier but with no targets or only the targets in loss I rewatched one of my previous streams so you get bamboozled by expired meld you can the left click on that tile and the game will treat that as if you press the fire command on a soldier but with no targets Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah, like that. Interesting. More. I'm on the move. More tile scan tech, huh? Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Whoop. Kill confirmed. Probably not gonna do it too often because there's a left click move bug though. Though I think it's to be a fix that for me. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're legit done with the aliens. All active dead. Nice. It's time to wrap this mission up, I think. Yeah, boy. Very good. Confirmed. Now he's gonna get rid of the drop-ins on the way out. Very nice. Get down here. Not fair if I have all the fun. Okay, let's get back up. Especially with the Rocketeers. We're gonna have the Rocketeers like ready up at the back to just blast whichever thin men show up. Location confirmed. Go f up here. Luki says, grab Dawn and go. I'll probably get killed by the Thin Men on the way out. Luki, no! Luki, you're gonna be okay. Don't worry. You're gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it. You're gonna make it. Obsidian says, surely even with the kitchen closed, the complimentary mints are free, right? That's exactly right. Yes, correct. They are free. Heading out. Locked 
and loaded. Why not stay here the entire stock? Oh, we will kill them, but this is the way you do this mission. I've done many Vandor missions. Let me tell you, this is the way you do a Vandor mission, all right? Stepping off. Also, Friendly has disappeared, as he always does. Inevitably, he always does. Yes, Commander. One ham solo back here, ready to flank as well. You get food poisoning by mints. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. J'y vais tout de suite. So now we're just gonna sit up before those mints are gonna drop and then walk it on out. Back soldier, get Luki in position for rocket. Make sure they're in the middle, so that they don't necessarily blow themselves up wherever, wherever they go. I think. Oh, friendly is still there. Whoops. I don't want them on explosive cover that they might self self blow themselves on. No self blows here. We don't want that. Ham. Ham, 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 ham. I'm gonna bring you over here. I want Slippo back here. Rick, come over here, ready to flank. Alright, next time I'm good to go. Because we're gonna go. Rick wants to watch down here. You're basically trying to set up checkmate on these council missions with drop-ins, you know? Advanced checkmate. Flanked. 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 No flank here yet. Flanks. I could bring you back to here, but... You know, I just, just gotta... Yeah, I'm probably gonna bring you back to here. Or here, for that very reason. Affirmative. Come back to here. Flanked, flanked. You just want everyone potentially flanked. Flank, flank, flank. None of you are free of sin. Moving out. Yes. The survey. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Watch. You coming down here or what? Let's do it. Let's get him out of here. Let's get this door out of here. Thank God you're here. I'm still breathing, but I can't say the same for a lot of my boys. Let's get out of here before any more of those things show up. I don't know what outfit Let's you're go. From, but I haven't seen gear like that before. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> Affirmative. Got it covered. Je vois là, commandant. Right behind the car. I hate that one. This is my least favorite thin man drop, and I hate that one. Especially because it's on Dicky Overwatch. There, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that one. If we get out of here alive, I just hope I get another shot at these bastards. I owe it to my men. I'm gonna blow that damn car up. No, we're probably just gonna run away from it. How far can I get you away? I can get you behind the truck, that's what we need. You should not be visible from there. If you can even make it to here and shoot, which there's no way. So, yeah, we wanna get you going. You're actually a little bit stuck back there is the problem. Gravitas, you're the one who's actually in a little bit of danger. I'm gonna slip it out here. You to here. Moving to position. Oh god. That's good. Pull the overwatch. That's good. Incoming over here. That's what I was scared of happening to the door in like some kind of finicky elevation loss overwatch bullshit. So that, that, that's good, I think. That's good. 
Now he's not going to get sniped. I'm just going to get him out to here. You're going to have to hunker there. We're going to need to make sure that someone's covering you for... Something bad happened to you back there, though. Next turn, you can get out, at least. It also means I need to move where some people are hiding. Like so. I'm going to have to move you, too. Rick. Rick, 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 Rick. Rick, stay here. Rick, stay there. We'll keep the steady rocket on you. Watch over, watch over, watch, and hunker. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get ready. Another one. Okay, they're both back there at this point. These are kitchen thin mints. Three. Oh yeah, Overwatch him, Goth. Oh yeah, Overwatch him, Goth! Complimentary Thin Mint kill. Oh yeah! That's actually great. Thank you. Goth is a good soldier. I don't know if anyone has noticed. I just wish I could have done more for my people. I lost some good men. Gavitas, back the hell off. Double time. Very nice. Van Dorn, run for extract. Cover the Dorn. Heading out. Let's go. You here? You here? You here? Defense 47. Yeah, you won't get targeted. Love that there's just a random soldier to still have an evac. That's friendly, baby! What was that? Friendly's making sure we get back to my aircraft. I owe you one. Oh, Dorn is safe. I wouldn't be here without your help. VIP is safe and on board. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Objectives updated. Always breathe a sigh of relief when my Dorn is safe. Okay. Now, we're just gonna wait till the last two aliens show up. Probably Hunker. I, who has medkits? I'll be ready to heal. But once we get the suppression train going, it'll all work out. What's your defense? Minus one isn't ideal. It's not ideal. Uh, just come to here for now. Or, <laughs> come to here for now. Roger, Dodger. Scanning. Probably should just tank with the Iron Skin Gunner. But Thin Men, you never know with Thin Men. They freak me out. As long as they don't make me go back there. Don't make me go back down there, please, Thin Men. Was that turn count? That's a real XCOM player's turn count possible Neko. That's what's going on. That's championship players what you're seeing there. Take the number of aliens on a mission, times it by three. That's the minimum turn count. Alright, oh, my air caught on. Can go to the bathroom after this mission too. You have to go down there. I will not go down there. there. The Thin Men will come. The Thin Men will come. Even more than Sectoids, Thin Men will come. They're not coming. I swear to God if they went up to the back of the map. 
No, they're close. I can hear their shoes. You hear that? They're right under that ladder. They're baiting me. This is bait. <laughs> they're really not coming. I hate them. I hate them so much. They're right there. I can hear them. I can hear their stupid shoes. They're right there. What was that sound? But they're really gonna make me go up to them. Someone might die if I go up to them. They're really accurate. I really don't want to go after them because they really could kill someone quite easily. I'm not gonna have a choice. Okay, Slipper's gonna have to go up with the iron skin with the scout. Alright, god damn it, here we go again. On the move. Gave up all that ground only to have to take it all over again. <laughs> Madgu says it's silly, you can't just evac, Dorn is safe, there's no benefit to stay. Yeah, Frax has never really got the idea, even in XCOM 2's resistance themed operations. Frax never really gets the idea of like leaving. Every mission is a deathmatch to Firaxis. Metro says, Beegs, the troops get more fatigued the more turns you take. No. Hey, you hear anything? No, there's no downside like that. Heading there now. That'd be awful. Yeah, can you imagine some kind of like option or mod that made it so that you got punished the longer you took on a mission in XCOM 1? On oh, imagine. What a nightmare. Welcome. Can't wake up. Philip says, could do that in open air scum. Well, the joke is that does exist too. It's called Green Fog! Oh, they're down there. I told you they're down there. What are they, what are they doing? I can like perceive them, but not. Aye, aye, Commander. Could I go in there and find them, Gravitas? Yes, Commander. Come here, slipper. If you kill him, we're safe. Kill him! Kill him! Ah! Alright, it's, it, it, it's decently likely that two thin men can tag team a soldier. It's less likely that one's gonna get a solo kill. One thin man left down here somewhere. The question remains where? Looks like that is a fire. That is not where they are, that's a fire. Will Gravitas make it through the rest of this mission? That is now my question. Got it. I think we're gonna be okay. I think Gravitas is gonna be A-OK, -okay, folks. Okay, they're, they're either really close or they're holding the rear. Holding the high ground, I mean. I think they're holding the high ground. I 
If you're up there, this is two for it. Metro says, why not just rush back to evac? Well, we did, but we have to kill all the aliens to finish the mission. Maybe just wait and see if they show up. Overwatch of Goth and Slipper, because they're both pretty tough and they can take a hit. Moving to position. Overwatch, aye aye. Okay, they ain't fucking coming. Let's go take a look, I guess. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh god, where are they? Gosh. As long as you're not behind this truck. I'm pretty sure they're not behind this truck. I'm pretty sure they're up the top. It's more dangerous at this point to be here and hunkered against a high ground thin man than it is to be here, I think, so we'll just move to here. Moving out. I think they're definitely up the top. Almost definitely up that top. Affirmative. Move it out. Okay. Heading there now. Corriendo. Food suites. Scan on Overwatch. Come here, sir. Yep. Now they're on the left. Making that noise. Affirmative. No dice. Might be behind this bullshit again. Bring out that other rocket. We'll try to slam him with one, okay? Okay, okay. Oh man, they get around, man. Their mobility to get around. They're on the right now. Spooky. Keep hungry and try to bait them into like shooting or uh, gassing at me, and then I can fuck them up in return. Okay. Headed there now. Bring Luki to here. And see if you can grab a rocket. Once we catch them in suppression, they're done. Luki says, my phone is on 7% battery waiting for this damn mission to end so I can see the training roulette spins. Well, don't worry. It's time! It's time, it's happening! They're flanked. I'm gonna just hit him with a rocket straight up. A little bit of damage. Pep, don't say Bep in chat. Don't. Don't do it. It's not right. Okay, it's gonna back you off to around here. Or just flank you, right? Actually, just flank you. Nope. What about AP? I can run up and AP you. Bring over to here. How about I run you over to here? Run the Overwatch. It's a six percent to hit, which means it'll never hit. Go. Mayhem suppression. Maxi says, didn't we have a 1% hit just last week? Yeah, which means we're not due for another one for ages. It's fine. Pistol! This is gonna kill ya. 
Okay. No way. It wasn't gonna kill them. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. <laughs> New due donation from Lai DBAP. A bet. A bet. Now the Fit Man pulls out their training roulette plasma grenade and hits that car. 85%, you gotta hit it! Hey, Go Fizz slaying. Kirukai power. I'm running low on the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. Nice! And it took a little while to do it safely with that map. It often does, especially when Thin Man and that, that awkward end of the map loss. But in the end, nice and easy, I might dare to say. And I know Luki's waiting to, like, charge their phone and go to bed. So Luki, straight up. Oh my god! What the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, Mayhem Rocket, sure, but, uh, oh shit. Luki really just gonna roll Lance Corporal in the zone. In the zone, Rocketeer. It'd be funny if those things combo. But they don't. <laughs> it's Rocket Com, baby! I mean, you can shoot. I mean, if he doesn't cost an action, I see that means it doesn't lower your accuracy. So you can, like, shoot five enemies and then rocket them to finish? <laughs> it's Rocket Com, baby. What does everybody else get? Uh, Hem Solo here. Uh, Sharpshooter for plus 10 critical situations. That's cool. Flush, always welcome. And Hyper Reactive, plus the name of any shot for a miss. I'm probably going to end up taking Sharpshooter. Um, it's already just fine on the infantry. You don't usually take it because of other things. But in this case, I think against Hyper Reactive and Flush, I think it's going to be great to have the crit chance for bring him on in general. And the plus the name against full cover. It's kind of like an anti synergy of hit and run, I guess, but. You know, you can still t technically use both in one turn, just not on the same enemy. And it's probably the best choice there, I think, for you, Ham, unless I want to take Flush really bad. Holy shit. Okay, there's another one. How many of you fucking rolled in the zone? Okay, just, just you two. Okay, so there's someone who might make better use of it. A scout. <laughs> Five dollar nation from drone that missed the mission. From drone that missed the mission. <laughs> Beep. 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 Thank you for your five dollar donation. Thank you for your five beeps for five dollars. It's a dollar a beep. Thank you very much. Join the Mister Mission. We have a lot of um, a lot of mayhem coming up. A lot of good options here. Mayhem gives you minus one move here apparently. Minus one HP. Fucked up. Um, TCS is great too for a shotgunner, of course. But I, I feel like whenever in the zone comes up, especially early on, like you're gonna want to take it. What do the others get? Slippo gets mayhem. Tons and tons of mayhem. Just more mayhem suppression is going to be awesome. Um, there's smoke and mirrors of merge smoke grenade. And there's flush. I feel like just more mayhem suppression. Especially early on. Sp specifically early on is fantastic. Uh, this Rocketeer gets to pick from aggression, tax sense, or smoke and mirrors. Um, smoke and mirrors with merge smoke grenade could be pretty cool. That's um, two free smoke grenades. That's nice. Just picking up a lot of that throughout this training roulette campaign is going to be really good. Just getting a lot of, you know, efficiency out of everyone having, like, free smoke grenades, free med kits. Picking up a lot of that so you have that in, like, one or two people on every squad will be nice. Um, tax sense is really good, though. Because tax sense means we don't have to hunker. Like, as Bounty's saying, you can take light cover and steady your ro rocket. It means you're going to be pretty strong to just... Because rockets kind of have to play that kind of facing down the storm game. They want to, like, ideally sit there... Steady aim, and then like let the enemies come to them, which means they're probably going to be taking fire, and then shoot back after surviving. So attack sense does make a lot of sense for Rocketeer as well, and it might be what I end up taking here. Can you hold up on their level up till next level? I can, yes. Once I get the officer training school, I won't want to, because I'll be missing out on um, VR training. But for now, until we get that, yes, I can hold out. Okay, definitely some nice choices here. Some, some, pretty, some pretty normal good ones, and then some pretty, like, you know, in the zone. You'd love to see that. Very nice. And, oh, and don't forget about Dorn. Dorn is here. Now, what do we do with Dorn? We got Dorn and Friendly. I'm going to make you like I'm a random. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to be right back. And we're going to see what we can do with Dorn in a second.
One sec, we're right back. I'm back. <laughs> what class should Dorn be? No random option. It's probably good there's not a random option because we want to make him into a medic. Gunner or Rocketeer? It's in dead heat. Even split. I feel like we have enough superstar Rocketeers already. Maybe make him another Gunner. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Fire Rocket though, right? Like... You can't really go wrong with picking it. You're never going to be mad that you brought a rocket on a mission, you know? It's never going to be a bad thing. But gunners are also really good. And with the right perks could go insane. He's got 68 aim. 4 health and 30 mobility. Like, average stat roll. You take two gunners on every mission. Yeah, but this is training roulette, so we're not doing shoot comm straight up here. Though, you know, I think taking at least two gunners on every mission is still... Well, you want at least two people who can suppress. You can get suppression on training roulette on more people more easily. But I think you want at least two suppressors. I'll let the poll play out. Um, friendly, on the other hand, probably going to make you into a grenadier. I'm going to... I'm probably, probably going to see, like... Avoid taking f uh, field medics as much as I can. Do they do get a mobility, which is nice. I can also random you into something else. I want to random you into something else. There you go. Friendly the scout. Now we're talking. So yeah, that's going to work out for you, friendly. Friendly in the fucking scout bay. I'll let the poll play out for you. All right. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down. What's going on in the strat layer? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Let's find out. Oh, let me just do my backups as I do for peace of mind. One second, one second, one second. We're not on save 16 anymore, we're on save 23. Backed up. 
Well, it's still March. Yeah, we've had two days of March. Now we're getting on the April. Complete. We're getting there. Where am I going to Asia? Right. Do I have a request for any Asia countries? India and Australia, both offering engineers. So one of them, obviously. India is... Jai Vidwan. Plus five research bonus for each lab adjacency. This is plus two bonus aim for needle promoted gunners and rocketeers. Oh, that's a good thing to get early then. You get less money, but you do get that early. So should probably grab Australia before we do any more promotions. Because that this is pretty early on. We haven't like ranked up too many people yet. And he says the medic tree has suppression later on, right? So we should be able to get suppression. It's training roulette, baby. I think, okay, Vandon for Gunner. It's training roulette. You don't know what you're gonna get. Satellite launched. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Wish I hadn't fucked up that uh that other satellite timing, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh my god! 11 16 p.m. on the 31st of March! Holy shit! We made it! It came back around somehow! Yes! So now we can get India as well. Wow! Nice! Ooh, very nice. I might get China otherwise, but, you know, for that, for the engineers. Yeah, let's go India. Let's get it! I'm so pleased. So pleased. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't cancel it. They were like, Beagle, you've got to cancel the satellite. It won't even make it. Why keep it? I don't know. I just believed, you know, in my gut. I believed in my soul, folks. I knew victory was certain. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So that's Japan, India, and Australia covered. It's been a long time since these countries haven't become alien bases for me. I haven't done a Asia start in ages. Um, so I want to complete next month China and then start taking another continent. We've been picking up some odd transmissions lately. Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. Uh, I don't know which continent to go for next. Obviously not Africa because of this shit. Um, Argentina, Brazil is always a nice easy one, but also not that exciting early on. Oh, extra, extra cash early on is fine. I mean, it's an A. You always go an A, right? Alright, Airbase Assault's turn on, says Camel F. I mean, I don't think there's a way to turn them off. Maybe there's a mod I need to install. Actually, I think there is. But, um, I'm just gonna not, not play them either way. Um, let me really make a note of that. I'm gonna bring up my notes. I'm gonna say, install Ghost Transition mod and install no Airbase Assault's mod. Speaking of which, let me double check that I haven't already got that mod installed. Do I have power over gender? Let's see. I may have already installed it. Yes! No, I already have it! But, uh. Hey. Alright. You got the wrong. You got the wrong body. There you go. You just gotta refresh it. But, uh. We did it. Thank you, SWF Delicious, for giving us power over gender. We appreciate it. That's right. Gender has been defeated. Excellent. Slipper says, damn, can I be a hot chick too? I mean, I can definitely make you into a chick if you want. I don't know if you'll be hot. Do you want it? You want me to do it? Anybody, anybody who wants to get uh, swapped around, you just tell me. It's always. It's time. Okay, Slippo. Well, I mean, it's up to you if you're hot or not. I think... I think you look cool. I don't think there's, like, any XCOM 1 soldier faces that, like, aren't. Like, they did a good job. Like, everyone looks, like, really cool and stoic. And like, awesome. Slipper says, I'll take it. No, Slipper, Slipper doesn't sound on board. <laughs> Goaf says, XCOM's got tons of that gender fluid. Yeah, we stockpile that. Brax says, does Goaf actually have 24 kills in three missions? Yeah, we had a, we had a rookie who had like 11 kills in one mission, so. That was Soylent, right? Yeah, <laughs> we got Soylent here of 11 kills in one mission. Pretty sure that's a record. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. 
We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay. That ship's never getting used over there. So, this upcoming month, we're going to need to build another uplink, which means I need to start building power. I might be too late, actually. Foolish, foolish beagle, foolish, foolish. Gonna have to put a fission generator here. ASAP. And that's for the rest, carry on, I guess. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes likely. likely. Remember, we will be watching. Gonna need another interceptor, at least one more. I've seen of their technology. If the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Carry on. Oh, and by the way, it's April, which means, bing, 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 before I forget, I gotta change the menu. Hang on. I already put the new menu on, so hang on a second. That means I need to go to Imager. I need to upload the new menu. Actually, I already did. I already did last time. Where is it? Did I, did I get rid of it? That's the, that's the menu for April. Switch the tab. No, no, no. I might need to put it up again, I think. Unfortunately. Okay, I gotta get an imager, I gotta put up the new one. One sec. The April menu is coming. Where the fuck did I put it? Oh my god, where did I put it? <laughs> what? Shit, where did I save these things to? I knew last week, but that was last week. I, it can't have gone too far. There it is. It, there, I found it. I found it. It's fine. I just put it in my random pictures folder, basically. Okay, new post. We uh, briefly have some music. I'm only upload this, just so no one gets too bored. Open image. I gotta go to Mubot. I gotta change the command to go to the new menu. Brax says, question, can the command specifically spawn mutons of light plasma rifles? No, the command can only spawn alien. That's it. There is no nuance to it. It is just one command for each alien. Drop. Drop sectoid, drop muton, drop drone, drop elder. That's it. That's all there is, I'm afraid. There is no nuance to it at all. This ain't XCOM 2, baby. You're going to subscribe to SWS Patreon to make Long War 1 Community Edition for that. Okay, so here we go. Now, if you do exclamation mark menu, it should be updated. Does the RNG focus the aliens? No. I think it just makes a, a basic ass fucking alien. I don't even know if it... I don't even know what perks it would give them. I think if anything, it's either no perks or whatever vanilla XCOM had, or it's whatever the default alien of that type in Long War had, is what I would I guess is the most likely. Now, check out the new menu, folks. Wait. Is it still on the old one? Motherfucker! Hang on. It's still on the old one. Wait. Mubot lied to my face. I was like, Mubot, you're on the new one. Mubot was like, I'm on the new one. No, showing the new one? It is? Okay, it is. Okay. So, let's go over this again before we have a mission. Just for everyone's benefit. The XCOM kitchen for April. Sectoids for two. Drones for three. Floaters and Thimmen have arrived for five and seven. Your old favorites are still here on the menu for now. But you can now order Why So Stupids, three floaters and two drones, or Problems Legal for three, three men and two sectoids. There's also the Cirque du Soleil for basically fucking everything. Two of everything available at this point. I probably should have put Seekers on this as well, because Seekers are April 2, but maybe they're May, I can't remember. If we see Seekers, I'll have to think about it. This is the menu for now. I hope you enjoy it. All your old favorites are still here. Does the XCOM restaurant offer all day breakfast? If it's breakfast in your time zone right now, it does, yes. Okay, so with that done, we scan. We scan until the excavation is done, or is it done already? Here's remaining zero. 
It's done. We need to get power going. This won't be done in time. I don't think I'm going to get more sats up this month. Because I didn't get power done in time, which is very silly of me. Oh, it's just so silly, so silly, so silly. Okay, you won't get the end of month money, but it's still important to get the satellites up as quick as possible to get air game coverage. So we're just going to start building power. I could meld for it. I, I could. Do you think it's worth it to get the money by the end of the month? I mean, the, the $60... It's just a 20 mil. The $60 comes back, no problem. Melty rare in this campaign? Yeah. Let's not do it. We're just gonna get it done as quick as we can. We're not gonna rush. We're not gonna rush too bad. <laughs> Unless people keep buying floors, you know, explode them. Yeah, we'll see. It's the first month of April, so we'll see how it goes. Other than that, that means we should have plenty of room to hire another interceptor then. So we'll get two more, we'll max out, because we need to dominate the air game. Never mind dominating the air game on other continents, at the very least let's dominate the air game on the home continent this month. And then maybe in May we can be dominating NA. But we want to keep expanding really fast, we're going to spend a lot of money into that shit. Alright. If Sidian says, wait, 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 okay, wait, wait, for what? I was about... This means as obsidian. The side just got macaroons. Okay, they did not actually have something for me to wait for. They were talking to everyone else. Okay, let's go. Brax says, you might have answered this before, but you're eventually going to lower the prices or change out aliens. Probably, yeah. My goal is for you guys to feel like you're not getting scammed, to feel like you're getting good value. That said, though, I don't know. I don't know because then also, like, if you make them too cheap, like, <laughs> is it just going to result in like the sectoid tied every mission in late game? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think people said that the good idea is to do like package deals. I think that was what everyone said last weekend was the good idea, and I agree. Is to like start just including like complementary sectoids in the groups more and stuff. So we'll see. All right. Just <laughs> Philip says, just increase sectoid prices instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's November. A single sectoid costs twelve dollars. Why the economy? <laughs> yeah, sectoid lover sixty nine will pay. That's right. That's right. Okay, it's eight power just for one uplink. So maybe build two fission generators. I don't know. What else do you even need to build anytime soon? I guess it's just uplinks. Unless you want to get early labs, which I'm not racing for yet. Got to get containment at some point too. Gonna random roll a soldier with Arcthora perk. For right now, I think I'll be pressed just to do um, scopes and stuff, so we won't go for a second fission generator yet. Just carry on. Gonna need some stingrays. On your plugger. Okay, alien weps are done, so we can get scopes now. Always nice. But what I really want is those beam lasers, baby. Need that damage. Um, because like we we we've, we've kind of made it. It's like the the swinging around thing. Like we made it through March. Okay, we're at the end of March now, and now March feels like it's easy. Like, okay, you know, oh, it's just sectoids and drones, that's fine. Just bring Lance Corporals and the Kirukai and we'll kill them. Now we're getting into April, where potentially, you know, we could be facing, like, up to 15 spawn Thin Men at once. That's a wipe. Um, and it's going to become hell again, so I definitely need to get the lasers so we can start taking them out at least when I see them. Probably going to have to, like, rush the beam lasers and then, you know, rush alien material or something too. And get armor. We really need, like, DR tanking and stuff. We're gonna have to exploit everything like that. Like, gunner tanking and stuff. We're gonna have to exploit everything to its fullest, I think. So for now, get I the beams. that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. 
More soldier experience required. Unlock this upgrade requires total ranks 40. Oh, I'm a 39! Oh, why? But I need to pick everyone's perks now because now we're gonna start uh, getting our VR training XP. So actually, that's okay. So, Dorn, Gunning Dorn. Oh, Iron Skin straight up. I want it. I want another Iron Skin Gunner, yes, please. Okay, Executioner. <laughs> Barley says, I gotta admit, I'm very tempted to blow my entire monthly budget on sticking 15 Thin Men on you during the land at large. Just be careful, because I can still retreat from missions. If you just blow 15 Thin Men, <laughs> you might not see half of them before I'm gone. Yeah, I think here, Executioner is cool, but I don't want to pick it up on a gunner straight away. I think Iron Skin, definitely. Definitely Iron Skin. Let's go. Let's level up everyone now. So people are going to start getting extra stuff now because of VR training. Um, let's go Grenadier. What do we got? Ooh, rapid reaction with bundled opportunist. Finally, I roll an opportunist, like a, like a good uh, opportunist overwatch combo. Now this is gonna be really strong. It sucks that you've got shitty aim, but even with the shitty aim, you managed to get 11 kills. Even with the shitty aim, I feel like taking this because um, I think overwatch is gonna be incredibly strong. Um, Incredibly, incredibly strong in this campaign. There's going to be so many aliens, and what are they going to be doing, chat? They're always going to be coming in piecemeal. They're always going to be coming in already active if people are buying them. So, Overwatch, it's kind of like going back to, like, the, the 2014 meta, where I swore by Overwatch. I got on everyone I could. I had, like, Overwatch infantry. We want to bring back... We haven't seen it. We don't take it in Shootcom. I think we want to bring back the Overwatch builds, because they're going to be really good for holding off, like, all the enemies coming in. Trojan says, wait, this one perk is you both opportunities for rapid reaction. Yes, it's very powerful. There's a bunch of stuff in Training Roulette Plus that's like comboed together like this and what we're doing. So it's a really good, like, mo most of the Overwatch perks like this, the opportunists, bundle opportunist in so that they're just like straight up a good pick if you see them. Movement penalty? Yeah. Um, this has minus one move. I think it's fine. It gives them two aim as well that helps sort out all that shit. I think definitely. Let's go Rapid Reaction. Because I want Opportunist builds. I want Overwatch builds. Now what are you going to be? Corgi? Uh, more Rocketeers perhaps? You got pretty good aim. I'll make you another Rocketeer. Let's see. Yep. And you're about to VR level up. So we're going to get to see a bunch of like extra perks and stuff too. Um, Brit's definitely an infantry. We decided that. Camelef, definitely Grenadier. I think I'm just not going to take field medics right now because it's the unfortunate effect of the bundled field medic showing up otherwise. It's like if someone had a starting Overwatch perk, I wouldn't want to take it. Um, so let's go Grenadier. Oh, I could have random. I should have random you, Camelef. It's too. It's okay. It's okay. You're Grenadier now. You have good mobility. It'll work out. I will random you probably. Let's see what you are, Rainbow Monk. You're an 11 mobility assault. We love to see it. At least you got five. Five health. Um, Eleven mobility isn't the fastest assault I've ever seen, but the rest of you—you're you're like a good in-the-line assault with your defense and health. Yeah, turtle assault. That's right. Um, C box. Not a gunner of three. Probably a rocketeer. And it's hidden potential. So their stats can go all over the place, too. I, I have to remember that. It's not just about what their rookie stats are. Hidden potential is really wacky. Their stats can go all over the fucking place on level ups. They can even get defense and stuff. Like, I think Seabox just rolled really nice aim there. So that's cool. Um, big will, too. 41 will. Wow. Just as Philip has dropped a new alt to his chef toy gif. Oh, I gotta go see this. Hang on. Fan art clips discussion. <laughs> that's like... <laughs> Cute but fucked up. They're, they're just like <laughs> it's like so cute until you remember like they're serving them to be like eaten in this Philip cannon. <laughs> no, it's not like that. They're serving them to spring out of me with with plasma guns, right? It's just cute. Let's go with cute. The two move only rock is gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah. C box is not a very good ability. Okay, you need to level up. 
Lukey, I think we know. I want to take Mayhem, but I think we know what it's got to be. In the zone for you. Always take in the zone when it's presented. That's just that's just winning the lottery, you know? That's just like a good one. Uh, I think Tax Sense for you, Rick. I'm tempted to go Aggression, but I think Tax Sense for you. Um, I don't have any snipers yet. Can always use more scouts, but I don't have any snipers yet. What do your stats say? Your stats say you do not have much health. I think you're a sniper. Show me third turtle. Choosing between Rocketeer or Gunner. Lots of Rocketeers or Gunners to choose from here. Um, between those two, I would pick Rocketeer for you. Lots of fucking Rocketeers in this campaign. I have five Rocketeers. Ham Solo. You don't actually need to pick right now, but I'm going to anyway. I think I'm going to go Sharpshooter. Slippo? Slippo, Slippo, Slippo. That's right, I think you're never Mayhem Gunner. We love Mayhem Suppression. We love casting spells. Gravitas! Okay, it's definitely in the zone. So salty, salt. I'm gonna random you, I think. It's heavy, Cobb. This is this campaign is heavies. Five health, fifty mobility. Just your aim sucks. But everything else about you is amazing. Might make you a gunner, I think. Your aim's a bit shit to be a rocketeer, but you can be an incredible suppressor and tank. Got another health. Got four aim. Love it. Very good. Evil guy! Scout or sniper? Probably another sniper. I need more damn scouts, but like, your health. I don't know. If I don't have to pick you right now, I won't. I don't have to pick you right now. And finally, we have more wonder shot here. I don't have any damn assaults, so I'm probably gonna make you an assault. You've got good stats for one. There you go. Medics is what's going to stay at a zero, I think, this campaign. Maybe I should go fix that, like give them a better like starting perk or something. Something different. Bundle it. I don't know, anyway. Uh, I didn't do that for the rest, so fuck it. Anyway, the point is, now more missions. Uh, add Revive to their starting perk. Yeah, I can see that. Or even just have Revive be the starting perk, actually. Anyway, 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 anyway. Alright, let's get it. We should be getting some more level up sticking over, which means we can get the squad size for the next mission. I will take that deal. Yep, the 40 now, so we can get squad size 1 for 200 bucks. Which is... Good. We want to get this as well, obviously. Did you move Exalt? Yeah, no Exalt, uh, no Exalt this campaign. Let's, I, it's also like Christmas, I want to see what the new perks are. Okay, Astro Corgi the Rocketeer, you get to choose from Snapshot, Resilience, or Aggression. Snapshot gives one move, Resilience actually takes away an HP on you, which is fucking weird. Some of the default, like, stat choices are fucking odd. Um, for training Relight Plus, but okay. Um, aggression... Probably gonna end up taking a snapshot and build like an actual rocketeer here, especially with the plus move. Resilience is always tempting, but it's a little bit less tempting with minus one HP. So I think, mm, I think snapshot. You don't really want to snapshot rockets anyway, though. But your aim is really good, so you can probably make it work. Aggression is always a good pick. Kind of depends what else you get. But I can't wait until then. I feel like it's going to be Snapshot. Can Rockets crit? They cannot. Mm, I'll take that. Yeah, Rocket being on target is a crit, yeah. True. Okay, here we go! Medium. Oh shit. Now this is back to the air game actually being intimidating.
Give it a go. Go, Q-Tip. We're in pursuit. <laughs> Medium premium. <laughs> we lost the bubble. Contact detected. Enemy is padlocked. No joy here. Contact detected. We have eyes on the bandits. Did you get a large land in the demo campaign? I have not. Oh god. Contact detected. We're gonna need more UFOs. Bangs out. I mean more more interceptors. Oh. Contact Go for the finish. Finish him off! Yeah, I got I, I did I get crit or they crit me? Nice, good job. Good stuff. Okay, we got a landed medium. Wow, we were wow, both. It seemed like, yeah, I think we, we I, they both like missed each other twice and then like random critted each other. Oh god, the. <laughs> I know it's balanced for like a lower number of UFOs. But it still feels incredibly bad to do one interception and see a jet out for like a month. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's my that's my monthly interception on that jet. But there's less UFOs, so you know it should work out. We're always glad to have more help down here. All right, so we need to go to officer training school. We need to sell some stuff and get squad size. I get to sell some. Sectoids. Don't think I can afford officers yet, but maybe after this mission I can. Okay, so crash medium. I gotta look up how many max aliens can be on this. So, missions. Long war. Let's see here. They reckon that the number of aliens on a UFO landing site is what? Doesn't say. Ground force quantity depends on the ty UFO type you shoot down. See the UFO's page for details. Okay. Over to medium. I imagine it's like an abduction. Victor says 84 aliens. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Good advice. Um, medium UFO here. Crew is 11 to 15 aliens on a crash. So I guess I'm going to give you 15. 15 is the max here. Oh, golly. Oh, golly, 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 golly. Because I give you the max rather than the average. Okay. So, yeah, potentially up to 30 aliens. This could go really freaking badly real quick. Friendly is the scout. We could see a very short-lived private friendly. Oh boy, two patrolling outsiders. Oh fuck, the patrolling outsiders, you're right. God. God, the patrolling outsiders are gonna be the worst. Oh fuck, oh fuck. It's okay, because this is... This is why the OP training roulette soldiers are necessary. It's okay. Luki's leveled up again, thanks to VR training. Oh my goodness, what are the choices here? Tax sense, really good. Rapid reaction, really good. You're like everything. You're gonna have like rockets in the zone and rapid reaction potentially. These don't go together because you're gonna be out of ammo from rapid reaction to use in the zone. Yet, they, they're both really good picks. They're both really good picks. I could just go tax sense too, but... Okay, we'll come back to you. Hang on. Who else is a rapid reactor? I need more rapid reaction. Yeah. Bring the overwatchers. For outsiders. I think it's gonna be rapid reaction on them too. Tax sense makes more sense though. Tax sense makes a lot more sense, but rapid reaction is just good all the time. Yeah, Philip says Luki's gonna have all the good abilities but no synergy. Yeah, yeah. Ta ta tax sense is smarter. Tax sense is much smarter. I should take tax sense. I think I will. As much as I wanna have double Overwatch for how scared I'm gonna be on this map. Speaking of, do we actually have the map? Yeah, what is that? That's, um... Is that 
uh, not Brothers in Arms. Yeah, is that Brothers in Arms? No, that's... Yeah, that's Brothers in Arms, I think. This is Brothers in Arms. Snipers are good on this map. No reason they're not. Probably bring a sniper. You also level up again, too, which is nice. So you get to go squad sites into Battle Scanner, Sprinter, or Tack Sense. Hmm. Having, I mean, Sprinter's a really good perk. Just in general. I mean, yeah, they're a sniper, but it doesn't really matter. Like, it's always good. You might even get a marksman rifle on this person instead. They only have 11 mobility, so it actually just makes them, like, more like a normal soldier. Scanner, I think, might be the better pick on a soldier who already has such low mobility. Because you need- you want to have people, like we said, with the toolkits, and when Seekers show up, heaven forbid, chat decides that my squad doesn't have enough scanners and just does, like, 15 Seekers, too. Probably good to bring scanners. And tax is, is just always good. Um, on a sniper, you're less likely to be using it, but you could marksman rifle the sniper and use it. I think scanners are what we're gonna do, though. You're never gonna be mad you brought scanners. You know, we don't have to take rookies on missions to level them up because we have VR training. It'll just take a little while. Rapid reaction, engineer. In his own rocketeer. Scouts. I need some gunners, hey? I need some gunners and maybe an infantry. Uh, let's go Iron Skin Dorn. Kirikai is not going to be ready. Kirikai is four days out. Dr. Ryu says, let me pay $10 to spawn a Beyond Impossible Seeker. No, I will not. Yeah, I did Banzer. I did double down on that. Um, rockets in general would not be the wrong choice, especially when you've only got Specialist Infantry, I think. Wait, there's going to be other missions too, Beagle, you know? Like, there's going to be other missions. I think I gotta take tax sense on you. I really want this, but I think I gotta take this. Two rocketeers, gunner, engineer, scout. Maybe another. Maybe another gunner. If I have another one to take, I don't. <laughs> Shit. I got so many of them, but they're all wounded. Okay, that's alright. We just have to take maybe an infantry for light him up anyway. Maybe just bring Brett for light him up anyway. Okay. Do I want to go LMG on any of these gunners? Probably on you, yeah. Probably LMG with you. I only have one gunner, so I don't know what I'm saying, these gunners. You have iron skin nose. We don't want you to be. We don't want you to be in the back. We want to be up front tanking too. But LMG can still be in the front. There's no the, the, nobody said they can't be. Tactical sense rocketeer here. Yep, yep. Might want to just bring as many fucking rockets as I can. Reminds me, I, I didn't build any scopes. Oh well. Probably just bring as many freaking rockets as we can. So Van Dorn definitely bring a full rifle for the overwatching. You have really good health and shit. Let's put it up a little bit more, I think. We have armor. Because we're getting out of sectoid territory now. People can hit a lot harder in general. More for you. Friendly, just a scout. Nothing particularly special about that. Give him a drum mag. I was thinking about it. Yeah, I'm thinking about giving them a drum mag, rather than the grenades. It lowers their aim by four, but you get two extra shots, which could be really fucking useful for rapid reacting. I am thinking about the drum rifle here. This is... reduces aim by ten. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. No, no, no. Let's just go drum. Drum de dum dum dum.
Infantry Brit. We're gonna have to bring some make on someone, so you can start bringing them. make on you too. Could you just do high get mags? Yes. Yeah, I could, but I think the drum will be good. I like this says carbine plus aim and mobility perfectly counts as drum mag penalties. Doesn't carbine have less ammo though? Or is that only SMG? That's only SMG. With opportunists, you are gonna crit a lot, so it's not so bad to be carbine overwatching. Probably also opportunists though your aim is already really high, so. Probably just take the 4% hit and have higher damage. What's the defense look like here? We've got minus 2 for you, 4 for you, that's good. Minus 2 for you, so you guys are equivalent, that's a problem. That, that is a problem. 1 for you, 0 for you, minus 2 for you. Dorn needs like... There's no. There's nothing I can take right now that gives me less defenses there. No, there isn't. Ooh! Victor! New 32 donation from Victor Arivor. This is exactly how we speak English, my boy THS Solize. <laughs> THS Solize. Thank you for the 32. Are you like. Are you trying to order something? Or is that just a tip? Thank you for the $32 donation. Yep. We're not on the mission, Victor! We're, <laughs> you, you, we're not even on the mission yet! You can't, you can't order yet! <laughs> you, you gotta wait! Count it! How about not? Well, I mean... You can't do that! Why? Because that's the rules! Otherwise everyone would do that, and then it's weird! And then you... Other people don't get their shots! I mean, now I feel bad, because you've done it. The restaurant's not yet open. I feel kind of bad, because you've done it. I say in the, the menu not to do that, though, right? It's fine. I'll... I'll do an exception this time. I'll do one exception this time. One time exception, but please everyone know. Do my instructions not say there's something? Please everyone know. Don't order before the mission. That's why it says, you know, max out up there right now. But thank you very much either way. But, uh, the, you know, the minute we drop, I'm gonna add him, I guess. Okay, okay. I'm bending the rules because I'm a nice guy. I feel bad. Like, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna be a dick about that. It's nice sending them that money. It's very kind of you. All right. Well, we know we know what's coming in when we land. Thank you very much for that. Either way, though, Victor, I appreciate it. I'll just have to change my menu before tomorrow to be like more clear, I guess. Table of six walking in through during prep hours. <laughs> All right. What else am I doing here? LMG. Ceramic, so you can tank more. More medkits probably. This is probably yeah, I got distracted because of that. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it, by the way. Maybe this is say it. I thought I did. I thought I said wait until there's a mission. Yeah, I'll just have to put some red letters in, yeah. Alright. I think we're good to go. Bada 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 bing. Touching down. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Put an arrow on this thing like Mr. Brast. Who who the fuck is Mr. Brast? Oh, I can't swear. Away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. We can't swear because this is where Jeff's gonna clip the VOD in the middle. So now we have to have 15 seconds of being polite and good. Nobody swear, nobody say anything bad, please. Just hang on for a second. Okay, hopefully if we give it another 15 seconds, Jeff's clipped it now. <sighs> Play Solari, really? You've ruined it for Jeff. You've sworn. You've absolutely ruined this for Jeff. We gotta wait now because of Play Solari. <laughs> I hate VOD viewers. That's so mean! Hello, VOD viewers. 
Welcome to Mr. Brast's Operation Fallen Line, VOD viewers. I think we've given him enough time. This should work. Let's get into it.